Hey guys, today I'm going to show you just the basics. I'm talking about the very basics of this game. I did some complicated, uh, some complicated tutorials, so I'm going to do a easier tutorial. Just basic beginner stuff to see what new players expect. And also, if you're kind of struggling with the mechanics a little bit, this might help. So you guys know, or probably maybe you know, but this is, um, in this game you could do a perfect block, you know, similar to other games like Sekiro. And then you could also do dodging, of course. Both are pretty good in the game and pretty mandatory, actually. Especially the perfect block in order to do pretty good at this game. So my suggestion with the perfect block, if you're not good at it, or if you're not, um, if you're struggling with it, is to at least get a block in. Don't just let yourself get hit. So make sure you hold down that LT button, not at the last second, but before he's about to hit. Some people try to click uh, the block button at the last second right when they're about to get hit. You know, trying to get the timing down, but they just can't get it. I would suggest, at least for for now, just make sure you're holding that LT button right before he hits you instead of trying to time it really fast, you know, because some enemies do fucking hit slow. So make sure you hold that LT button. You might get a good parry. Not a perfect one, but, a, but it's still parry and it won't do any damage to you. If you fuck up, you're going to lose some shield. But you'll still be okay instead of getting smacked in the face. So blocking is pretty important because it raises your beta. If you see on the bottom corner right there, there's a blue square things, a bunch of blue square things. Those are the beta. You guys might know this because you've used this move. Using that move will waste the beta. Now, um, when you do perfect blocks, you might have noticed that your beta increases and um, with some upgrades while you attack and hit an enemy your beta also increases so it's very important to block do perfect blocks and attack so I would suggest keep the aggression on an enemy perfect block and attack you know perfect block and attack you know try to find some openings in there to you know really get your enemy pressured i know there's no pressure system in this game but pressure the enemy and you'll get more beta you'll get more perfect blocks and with more perfect blocks they will become unbalanced and with more and when they become unbalanced you'll get a retribution and with that retribution you'll see that there's a re there's right above the beta skills there are burst skills uh well, this is later in the game. Not trying to spoil it here, but you get more skills. Obviously, if you check the, if you check your skills, you'll see that there's some locked ones. Later in the game, you'll get some burst skills. So when you do perfect blocks like this, I'm gonna show you right now. Oh, uh, just get some attacks on first, of course. So when you get some perfect blocks here. And I would suggest attacking as well to to get some uh, keep the pressure up to get some beta. So when this happens, you'll do a retribution, and that will increase the burst. As you see, the burst got increased. So, um. And also, um, dodging will increase the, the burst as well, but we'll get to that in a sec. So anyways, yeah, so with the burst you could do other skills. So yeah, that's basically some of the basics, very, very basic stuff to kind of defeat an opponent. Make sure while you're blocking to hit them back. Punish those boys a little bit, bro, for hitting you. It might be pretty aggressive, but... You know, with uh, all the hits you get in, and the perfect block, you'll be able to do the beta skills like this. With the beta skills. Oh, he's not attacking me. There we go. With the perfect blocks, 
and the attacks you'll be able to get the beta skills and keep attacking and just be more aggressive and then you'll get this you'll get the retribution and with the retribution you could use your burst while your beta is running out so yeah really basic stuff the burst will also help you as you can see so uh, there's other ways to get more burst. This also depends on what you guys are wearing. If you're wearing stuff that recharges burst more, you'll recharge more burst. And if you get more stuff that recharges beta, you'll get more beta. This might seem overwhelming, but it'll say in the equipment that you get what does what, and you'll be able to see. So you choose your play style how you want to play at the end of the day. Let's get into dodging a little bit more. So dodging basically, uh, it's quite simple. It's just dodging with circle. You just dodge and that's it. What that will do is increase your um, your burst automatically, which is pretty good. So if you want to increase your burst more instead of your beta, consider dodging more. But um, if you miss time it, you'll get hit. And that might happen as well. You might go underneath some swings, which is pretty cool. It's pretty amazing combat. You might go underneath some swings like that. So what dodging does is it increases your burst, which is the red square. So don't forget about that. And what else can we review? Hmm, that's basically about it. At least I, I think so. Just keep the pressure up. You know, use your skills and use your skills to get them off balance as well. As you can see, that attack takes two uh, yellow block things away. <laughs> I can't believe I just called them that, but I think this skill, this one right here, and this one are pretty important if you're a beginner because it gets them on their knees real fast. And if you do that, you'll get more burst. There we go. So use you might so another little tip: use your burst to get burst. So that to keep the burst up. So yeah, totally not complicated at all. So as you can see, I got I got three perfect blocks. Use this, and he'll immediately go down. So try to get them off balance with those moves. So, yeah, so when you're in a boss and it looks hopeless, take out your fucking gun and start shooting that boy. If it, never give up on a fight. That's what I love about this game, it's never truly over, guys. Take out your gun and shoot them, you know, use everything in your arsenal when you're in a fight. I would use, um, this is also really important in boss fights. You're going to want to get these down. These are almost essential as well. Sorry, I forgot to mention them <laughs> before I ended the video. But these are really essential because let's turn off the equipment. When you do these basics, look how much burst you get. Oh, and by the way, they get down as well, and so you could shoot them a bit. So when bosses do this, or enemies in general, you'll get burst. You'll get a lot more burst, like it over there. You'll be able to get burst attacks really easily and probably spam them. So uh, yeah, these are pretty essential. These are these attacks are unblockable, so don't, don't try these. You can't dodge them. But I would suggest doing what you need to do. Just do it. All right, purple and blue are different, of course. I think you guys already know that. Purple means when they're about to attack, kind of back up. And when it glares, press circle, and then. When it's blue, move forward, and when it glares blue, go forward. So purple backwards, blue forward. So yeah, pretty simple stuff. Pretty simple stuff to do. As you can see, forward. Boom. Right, let's go with the purple here. Purple backwards. And then you shoot that. I would recommend shooting it because you get some... Uh, you get some buff when you do that, of ranged attack, so. Or you could just go up to him like that. 
So yeah, do these, and then I'll suggest, you know, using your uh, all your uh, stuff. Well, anyways, yeah, that's basically the basics. These basics will help you use all the moves, all your beta moves. So you're gonna want to use them. Use those basic moves, and you'll get rewarded by using these moves because they will increase. They will increase your burst and beta when you do basic attacks, basic blocks, basic dodges, or uh, perfect dodges and all that stuff. And yeah, that's basically about it for just a basic tutorial. I hope I didn't overwhelm you too much, but just basically, uh, overall, just be a bit aggressive. Make sure you're holding the block. Don't try to time it at the last second. I would suggest holding it at... Try to time it, but don't like... Just press it real quick at the last second because you're probably going to get hit uh, depending on the enemy. I would suggest try to time it, but when you press it, make sure you hold it in case another attack comes up or something. So, yeah, I think that's basically it for this tutorial. This is just for beginners. So, yeah, anyways, uh, that's about it, guys. Until next time, fuck off.